Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Rob, and I am going to be continuing my Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. Um, let's see, where did I leave off? It's been a while, so you'll have to forgive me. i got to remember where I left off. So we were just outside of Moblitz here. I had just gotten Gaul, and I was going through doing some random battles here and there, trying to get their uh, enemy skills, basically. So basically, here's a quick list of some of the ones that you're going to kind of want to get. Um, like the Marshal, he's kind of rare. A Vamamoth, a Guard, Emtech Armor, Renator, Rodox, Tusker, Cyperus, Trillium, Pterodon. I mean, there's like about 25 of these bad guys that you're going to want to fight. And you're going to send Gaul into the group and learn their ability abilities. Bleh. And that's definitely going to help out. Um... I tried to get most of them in my downtime, but I didn't get all of them. So anyways, let's see. Let's head back into Moblitz, because I don't think I actually fully explored this town when I first got here. Now they say the shop's here pretty good, so let's go take a, another look. Let's head into the weapon shop. Now the guide I'm using recommends picking up Kotetsu for Cyan, so let's see. Which I already got equipped, so that's good. We can skip that off the list now. That says if you want to equip him with the Genji glove, black belt, um, you can give him two swords. So let's take a look, see if I have that available. Well, oh, crap, it looks like I bought an extra sword for no reason, but oh well, no big deal. I've got plenty of money. And oh, crap, I keep... Forgetting the O button is to back out here. Menu system isn't quite exactly the same, or the button layout isn't the same as Final Fantasy VII. Son of a bitch. Okay, so the guide I'm using, they recommend getting two heavy shields, which I've, I think I've got plenty. Two Magus, Ma Magus, Magus hats. Gonna need those for later. And a plumed hat. Oh, which I got plenty of those. And two iron armors. Okay, I'm good with that too. Well, maybe I should buy a couple more. They don't recommend that you get the uh, iron helmets because it's crazy butt-ass expensive. Yeah. Uh, and we find better alternatives coming up later on here, so we can skip that for now. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, I already went ahead and bought the dried meat, because otherwise I wouldn't have gall in my group. So let's go ahead and get out of the gift shop here. We'll head over to the relic shop and go pick up a few more. Jeez, Louise. Um, Baz. Okay, there we go. We're going to go to the item, sh item shop. Okay, now we'll head over to the relic shop, and the guide recommends getting a couple of white capes. Can't go wrong with a few white capes. You can always have a couple extra of those. They make a pretty good filler space for your relics. Wow, and I don't have enough. Well, at least I was able to get one. Ooh. See, we got a secret door. Anything over here? Oh, you can sleep for free. That's good to know. Okay, and apparently, if we head over here into the uh, pigeon house, is what they call it, and check the clock, there should be an elixir. Cool, got that. Okay, and if we head over here behind the relic shop, we should find the two lovers. Dwayne? Anything? Katrine? Not saying anything, but I do believe that's going to be important later, so we'll keep tabs on them. See, Dwayne and Katrine are both 16 and in love. Good for them. Okay, so apparently if we 
search the town. There should be some kind of wounded so soldier around here somewhere. Ooh, what are you doing back here? Some soldiers wandered here. Busted up pretty bad, too. It doesn't look good. Only the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. Hmm... Are you the wounded soldier? Let's find out. Injured lad, I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded and made me join their army. I fled when I heard we were making for Doma. They caught me and did this. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On the, on the desk is a letter. Will you please read it? Hmm. Let's pry into his uh, personal business here. I can't get used to Imperial troopers walking the streets of Miranda, but otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden, telling me spring is here. How are you doing? I'm so worried I wish I could fly to your side. Rest and know that I think about you constantly. Come back to me, Lola. P.S. What are you wearing? I'd like her to write back, but I can't even pick up a pen. Hmm. I wonder if we may be able to help him with that at some point. So let's go find the... Get out of my way, dude. Seriously. Find the mailbox. Isn't there a mailbox around here? Or maybe give it to the carrier pigeon? Only carrier pigeons link our village to the outside. Postage to Miranda is 500 GP. Gonna send a letter for that soldier, right? Nah, send it. I'm at your service. I send things all over the world. Okay, so apparently we gotta send five letters for this guy. Okay, you can only send new stuff uh, whenever he gets a reply, so you need to wait a while. Um, you can either like talk to like the storekeepers, or you can sleep at the inn. Okay, so I talked to the little relic shopkeeper and I kind of slept in his back room. Let's see if I get a reply. Okay, nothing from there. Let me try talking to him. Let's talk to the wounded soldier and see if he gets anything new. Another letter has arrived. Can you read it? All right, let's take a look. I can't find your favorite record. I thought I'd play it and you'd be with me, but I'd give Lola everything. If only I could move. Well, you know how these long distance relationships goes. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, and now we're going to Talk to the uh, the mailman here, give him another 500 bucks, and he's going to send the record, so go ahead and send that out. And then we'll head back to the relic shop, talk to the, the shopkeep, and take another nap. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, slept in the relic shop and talked to the shopkeep, and it looks like we got our reply, so let's see. Let her take it to the soldier. Mother's taken ill. We can't afford medicine. If only we had some tonic. I'd give Lola everything. If only I could move. Okay, so let's go deliver a tonic. Now, I may be running a little bit low on cash. I might need to leave town and go fight for a little bit, but at least I can send this out in the meantime. For 500 GP, you can send tonic. We're going to send that out. So as you can see, I'm kind of low on GP. I'm going to need at least another thousand if I want to send out. We're going to send out another letter and then a box. So I will be right back after I've gotten a little extra dough in my pocket. Um, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, everyone, I went ahead and did a few battles outside. I went and I healed and saved it and all that stuff. Um... Got a couple extra bucks in my pocket, so let's see if he's got a reply. I haven't heard from you. I'm so worried. 
I'd give Lola... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I guess we got a, the extra dough that I need to send out another letter so that his beloved Lola doesn't worry about him. Okay, 500 bucks. It's a steep price, but I'll pay it. Okay, so now I'm back and it looks like we got our next letter here. You said you were reading a book. If only I could read it too. All right, now we gotta send him the damn book. She's not worried about him. You know, with all this money we're spending, he probably could have just bought a damn ticket to bring her ass over here, but... Oh well. All right, I guess we gotta take another nap. Okay, and now that we've sent out the five packages, let's see what our reward is for all our hard work. I heard in my name you sent Lola many things. I wish to thank you. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. Received a tin tinna bar. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Let's see what it does. Wow, you get, okay, it's an, a relic that recovers HP with each step. So that might be really useful later on down the line. I can think of a couple of places that I had a hard time with when uh, I first played the game that this would really be uh, a pretty nifty item. So I, let's see what's next on the old agenda here. Okay, so if you still got Cyan or Sabin's Mithril Shield, probably best to put that on Gaul. Keep him in the back or in the front row, so he's gonna be taking a little bit more damage and move Cyan to the back. Um, I think I got rid of the Mithril Shield. Maybe I lost it or something, so. Oh well, so much for that. Now, if I had the Atlas armlet, um, I, I could be given. I could be giving it to Gaul, but I don't think I have that either. I may have missed some shit here and there. Oops. So we'll go with a white cape and and the hyper wrist for right now. Sorry everybody, it's been a while, so I'm trying to get organized here. Okay, so I went ahead and saved it. And now the, the, the guide that I'm using recommends that if you, know, if you guys got time, go around the Velt here and have Gaul jump into the group and learn rage or enemy skills from them. Um, and it, it gives some pretty good recommendations of which ones to go after, like the ones I listed. Um, you, if you bump into any stray cats and stuff, they recommend jumping into them as well. They, their attacks are pretty powerful. Um, and stuff like that. So I, I tried to get as many as I could in my downtime. And I didn't want to waste your time with me doing all of that stuff. So I'll just make do with what I got. And to be honest, I never really used Gaul all that much anyways when I originally played the game. Um, I don't know, I've been trying things a little bit differently with this Let's Play, so... Uh, like I did with the Final Fantasy VII LP that I did, I, I never really used enemy skill material before, but damn was that shit useful. And, and pulled my ass out of the fire quite a bit, so... I don't know, maybe things might be differently this time. So those for those of you guys wondering, as, as you can see here, I've been a little busy. I can, I've gotten quite a bit of these rage attacks, um, but I haven't really started fidgeting with them just yet. So this episode may be running a little bit long. I didn't think I was gonna be spending it um, helping out a lovesick, homesick, crippled soldier, so. I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here, maybe make it a quick one. So I want to thank you guys for watching and, and you know, joining me on this LP. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. I, I'm going to do some digging around here because my, my guide says I want to head southeast to find the Crescent Mountain, but I sure as hell didn't bump into it. Bump into it excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and find it first and I'll start up the next episode. So, all right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.